Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So with Heroes Festival still um, being down for me, it's still not time for Heroes Festival yet. I thought it was a really, really good chance for me to start making Monster Spotlight videos again. So today we actually have um, we actually have a spotlight for the Dark Thor, and um, this is by Lan Lanfilla. I think that's how you pronounce his name. And he requested that I, I try something special and try to do like a, a, a run with like, um, you know, double Dark Thor, double Armor Break because there was a post on Reddit uh, a while ago um, that basically said that HP leverage, you know, someone did the calculation and said that HP leverage basically is like, um, against the boss, it's actually stronger than skills like Hunter. It's basically like a 63% increase in damage. So we're going to try out some... We're gonna try out some crazy, crazy shit, alright? We're gonna do, um... Now I need armor break. I think I definitely... Oh wait, he, he has armor break himself. So I should probably put a leader skill, something that can keep them alive and stuff. Um, and then we'll... We'll try some... Try some crazy shenanigans against the boss. Now, um, this is probably gonna be a little bit shorter because we're, we're basically just doing a test run. We're not doing something, um, something too crazy. And I'm not sure who, who to put for the second guy. I, I was thinking putting Dark July to make it safe. But I think this could definitely work. Now, this is basically just a test run of a um, double Dark Thor. This is going to be a little bit different from the usual monster spotlight. Since a lot of people do already have this monster. And I already use this monster in a lot of my videos. Um, you know, it's not... It's not... It's not really about like you know testing his damage or how much damage he can do. You guys probably seen it a million times already. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna try a test run of um, a double Dark Thor comp, and then uh, maybe I, I since I can only do this once, I do want it to be pretty stable. So I did put two healers in here, and I don't really have any other leader skills, so I decided to use my Dark Cupid healer. Obviously, if you had a if I had I, I could probably use um, you know fire succubus or something for the HP lead or if you don't have that HP lead you can use like a wood leo or I don't know I, I, I somehow get the feeling that everyone has a very own wood leo I mean yeah like probably most people don't but like when you're <laughs> when I'm fighting in the arena it feels like everybody has a has a wood leo now the good thing with a double armor break is um, if you only have one armor break the units that you have tend to focus ju just that one unit with armor break but with two armor breaks they can actually have a chance to kill two units so that actually could um, still make your runs decently fast I, I would say and if you have like both built correctly I think it's it's pretty strong because they can like the, the other two will will basically whoever gets armor broken will get killed on the next turn no matter what um, if you have some you know damage dealing units as some of your other units and yeah this looks pretty good now I think depending on who they focus here um, the outcome can be pretty different now that that thing got killed pretty fast so I think I think that's actually pretty pretty nice I would actually like yeah that that's a, this is actually pretty good uh, RNG because I would actually like it that um, to, to get the Dark Thor to armor break the thing on the side and then we can just kill that thing really fast and then it basically um, stops putting stops putting like random debuffs and stuff on my my guys I think it does armor break I can't remember exactly what it does but I remember it has some really annoying debuffs so it's always nice to to be able to kill it even if they don't fo focus that and focus the boss I think after like the boss gets to around half HP um, that thing should probably die from the all the AoEs that you're spamming on the boss anyways. Man, I think like having four Dark Thors might be pretty good. Might make a pretty pretty decent run. Especially with the resistance um, lowered from the from the golem. I think it's it's actually pretty nice to have two Dark Thors because you can you can basically, or if you had like four Dark Thors, you can basically have a chance to like armor break maybe three units um, on the on one of the earlier waves, and if someone has their AOE up, AOE up um, basically all three units are, are dead for sure. So that could actually work. But then <laughs> rebirthing like mad for the Dark Thor, 
um, doesn't seem like too too good of a plan. So it's a three minute run. I think it's definitely pretty good. And I think I can definitely get it lower if I took out the Cupid and put in someone else. So I think I think this this is legit. Like having two Dark Thors against the um, against a Golem B10 boss is actually pretty pretty damn strong. All right, this is actually pretty pretty nice. So yeah, that was that was actually a little bit short. Um, I didn't really, <laughs> I kind of forgot to show show his um, show his gem slots, but um, it's basically just like one slot, one slot defensive, one slot attack, and then and then 100% crit rate or near 100% crit rate to make it reliable. Because the Dark Thor does require you to um, have like the crit rate in order for the, for you to be able to get his crit rate up. If you look at his skills right here. Yeah, and his Courageous Strike only activates on critical hits as well. So it's very, very important that you get um, near max crit rate on this monster. And he's also dark, so he has that nice base 100% um, crit damage. So it's very, very important to get his crit rate up. That's why he's... I think it, he's kind of score slot reliant. I mean, obviously, people can argue that, oh, you can... Um, you know, push his stats up with intuition, still get 100% crit rate. But that's actually very, very hard to achieve if you, if you think about it. But anyways, that's pretty much it. It's, that was a pretty short uh, monster spotlight video, but it did it did get a, give us a good chance to see something that we don't see every day. I'm not sure <laughs> that um, everyone could afford to get two Dark Thors, but if you can, I think it's probably a pretty legit um, Golem Speed 10 strategy. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.